case is open to us now. We go into space. I've been holding my action. It's time to go. Welcome to our Dungeons and Dragons game. I'm DM Steve. We're the dicks in the dark. And we're playing some D&D tonight. So if you like that kind of stuff, Dungeons and Dragons live streams, all that jazz, smash that like button. Please subscribe and all that stuff. And now that we have all the YouTube garbage out of the way, how's everybody doing? Garrett, how are you? Not too bad. Okay for a Tuesday. Excellent. Dungeon Dan, what's going on? Yo, not much. Just hanging, waiting to go. I've got some uh, Kochava here. Mm. Mm. And uh, Cameron, what's up? Yo, not much. Just here to play some D&D. Excellent. Harrow, how's it going? Going well. Good, good. And Jay, we heard you were sick. Sorry about yeah. that. Otherwise, what's going on? I'm no longer sick. Mm. Excellent. Perfect. He's not, he's not sick in that way. Yeah, yeah. Sick yeah. In that Maybe way. sick in the head. All right, let's get over to our gamey game here. And uh, Garrett, if you wouldn't mind... Pretty high. Pretty high. Al al almost the opposite end of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. That uh, that one was last last week, wasn't it? Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, last week was a pretty good game. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm holding out hope. Cross our fingers. Uh, so last time, of course, uh. Very briefly, the team that was going to, or that was at Pergamenti, the planetoid of junk, uh, they had an had a vehicular altercation with a uh, a sin death drone uh, that they came out on top. They were able to get the power back and. Uh, get some information. Now they're they have the the plans to build a MacGuffin uh, to uh, to go search for the planet info. Of course, Argyle got a new friend, and where we're going to be today is with uh, the characters who are on Zwario Wandi, and the last time they got. To the system. Actually, they partied it up first. Um, Mary got cock blocked uh, from uh, hitting on Derek, and then they got to the system. Uh, they got a bunch of ads and eventually went down to uh, one of the prime cities in which there are entertainment venues, restaurants, in hopes of gaining more information. Uh, they got kind of swarmed by a mob. Uh, Solus uh, realized his newfound fame, and uh, they were taken into a restaurant with some lizard men, a, li a lizard man uh, proprietor. He gave them the VIP booth, and uh, they found out that there is a media center that they might be able to get some information three blocks from here. I believe uh, somebody got the information transferred to their multi, maybe Guthix? Somebody. That happened last time. Any, somebody asked about uh, the, the you know, if there's a library or anything in that. Yes, uh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, so she uh, she transferred the information, said there's a media center about three blocks from the restaurant. So you have that information. Drake also asked the proprietor if he had any ideas or information about the Ganger 3 restaurant. Uh, and that uh, the proprietor said that he would look into it. And then you ordered some food. And really... That's where we are. 
Uh, the only other thing that happened is I think Drake got shot down by this uh, this nice lady here. And so. Yep. Feels bad for Drake. Yeah. Feels bad, man. So, uh, Varvara, she brings your food. Um, Mary ordered a some sort of a salad. Uh, she uh, she realizes that her salad has it's topped with some sort of fried legs. She's not really sure what the legs are, but there are a lot of them, and they're very skinny. And uh, the food is interesting. So, everybody chows down, or no? Oh, yes. I remember uh, specifically ordering the blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Yeah. I'm excited for that. This place have fancy cloud cocktails, too. They have some. Uh, they have some interesting cocktails. Are you uh, Are you all ordering drinks as well? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. All right. So they bring a bunch of food and a bunch of drinks. You definitely get the VIP treatment, and then uh, Barbara comes back to check on you a handful of times. Finally. If you can eat, you are, uh, you know, you're satisfied. You've got some drink in you, and uh, the proprietor. Uh, if I see him walking up, could I ask uh, really quickly to Guthix? He's here, right? He's, yeah. Yeah, Guthix is here. Mm -hmm. Guthix, uh, could you do me a favor and... Just mention the uh, Gengar 3 ship again. Ask him, like, say, oh, did we already ask you? Just real quickly ask him again. Um, and my intent is to try to read his thoughts when Guthix is talking to him about it. Ah, okay. So he he's walking up to your table, and uh, he gets up there, and he says, Ah, is everything to your liking? Oh yes, this food. I've I've never had anything like it. Um I, I'm sorry, I do. I uh I'm not sure if we asked before. I am um, I'm overwhelmed with all this new experience. Uh did we ask you about the Genga 3 perhaps uh possibly restaurant? Yes, I I see that that is foremost on your mind. You did indeed, and I have some information, though maybe here isn't the best place to speak of this, though I do have one small cost for this information, if you wouldn't mind. One of you needs to come back to the kitchen and become the next dinner. <laughs> the, the next dish of <laughs> through this part is what I what I'm trying to read. Okay. And for, it's all on him. It's a say. It's a throw. Same throw versus spells. Okay. 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 All right. Uh, so he says. Um, he says. If you wouldn't mind posing for some photographs for my wall, and he uh, he like points to the wall, and you see there's like all these like there's all <laughs> these like holographic uh, pictures of of him with various you assume celebrities. Uh, oh, Bruce Willis. yes, of course. <laughs> I don't see why not. Uh, maybe I could even get 
a gold record and he's looking at Gigi and she's like <sighs> uh... <laughs> I suppose <clears throat> excellent excellent and like uh Varvra and uh, some other like lizard man dude come up and they have like these little some some sort of recorders visual recorders <laughs> and uh and this guy he's like he's like shaking everybody's hands and like getting like pictures with like you know Drake like give him a noogie and <laughs> uh you know he like uh you know all these you know pictures he, they 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 bring out like a prop steering wheel for uh for solace to hold so he gets nice. a bunch of pictures and a bunch of stuff and uh he seems to be having a good time now so far you you're getting sincerity he seems like he knows something he's going to tell you something and at least he believes, or as far as you can tell, he believes that it will be, like, beneficial to you. Like, some, you know, he believes that his information is good, but he hasn't told you yet, obviously. Okay, I'll just, I'll just look over to Gothics and just give him a head nod, like, yeah, we're good. So, once he, uh... Once he has all of his stuff, he, he gets it all set up on the wall for you so that you can see it before you leave. So it's like, now there's a table. The table, he's got, like, marked with a little, like, he's already got little plaques with your names on it on the table and then, like, pictures of you and him behind the table. <laughs> and so he seems pretty happy. And... Uh, he says, uh, if you would like to uh, step into my office, I can relay some of that information to you. It's not very big. I don't think I'll be able to take the whole group. But please, if you need this information, follow me. So who goes with him? Drake is going to go because he kind of asked the initial question. Yeah. Mary stay at the table. Okay, Mary stays at the table. Thwar going? I will go. I'm interested. Okay. And, uh... Gothics. Solus, Gothics? Yeah. Gothics is going? Yep. Okay. Uh, what about uh, Ren, Rumby, chilling at the table or going to the meeting? Uh, Ren will go to the meeting. Ren will go. Okay. All right. So uh, you guys head back to his office. Gigi feels confident. She's going to stay behind. She'll, she'll chill at the table and have more drinks. <clears throat> you go into the guy's office and he says, You tasked me to see if I could find a restaurant that was, you said, constructed out of the former Ganger ship, number three, the green one, correct? Why, yes. I have good news for you, and I have bad news for you. The good news is that there is, I believe, a restaurant. Well, if you could call it that. Nothing like my establishment, of course. Right. Called the G3 Saloon. G3 Saloon. And where it's would here, be? in this system, the bad news is that, according to my information, it is located on the planet Dart. Uh, 
which could be a problem <coughs> for you. Could you tell us more about this planet Dot? Yeah, so the rumor's true. Are the, are the magnetic fields truly that strong? I am no scientist. So, I don't know specifics about it. But they call it the planet of exile. Those that go there do not return. Even getting there is very difficult. They say that the magnetic fields interfere with any type of powered tech, any kind of electronic, meaning that if you try to take a ship down to the planet, well, some people have made it down, they say, but it's likely you'll crash land and it's likely your ship will not be able to fly again. Mm. Also, all of your fancy gadgets, supposedly, they don't work down there. Now, I have heard that there are ways to get on and off the planet, but it's risky. Risk is our middle name. Or my middle name. I I don't know what Solus's middle name. You you don't do you even have a middle name? Never mind. Not I I don't think I have a middle name. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, what what is this method you speak of? Well there are those who have teleportation services and you can teleport to the surface I've heard the only problem with this is you may have a hard time getting off of the planet once you've gotten there is it not a two-way teleportation pad well, there's no pad on the planet, because again, as far as I am aware, any tech on the planet would be useless. You would have to trust that whoever teleported you down could teleport you back up. Okay. Again, so we need to find someone that can teleport us reliably. Yes. Again, this is not of my expertise. Be careful who you trust here. Well, I certainly hope that we can trust you. Uh, thank you so much for this information. And uh, Guthix is going to... Um, oh, does he not have insight? I thought Guthix had insight. I suppose not. Never mind. And, uh, Thawar was, uh, again, getting, like, pr pretty much sincerity. The guy, like, he's, he, he at least believed what he was telling you. All right. Well, we have a lead. That's great. So... He uh, he asks if there's any, you know, anything else I can provide for you, any other information. Again, I am not a scientist. Uh, I only have my meager connections in the business community here. Uh, I, I believe I asked your waitress, but uh, I was looking for a location to do more general research and she recommended a media a media lab uh a few blocks away is that right uh, ah yes yes there are media hubs uh throughout the city uh there is one close to here you should be able to get some more possibly technical information if you go there 
Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, you're very welcome. And please, please come back to. Uh, what's this? <laughs> what uh, was the fucking name of the place again? Uh, Corinza's. Come back Corinza's. to Corinza's again. I'd be delighted to have you. For dinner. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you leave the office and uh, White follows you out. Rejoin your uh, rejoin your friends at the table. Everything's kind of been cleaned up and everything, and uh, now you are set to go. And uh, yes. Mr. Carinza, Zovert Carinza, he uh, he waves you off. You get a wave from Varvara, and uh, now back onto the back onto the promenade, the street. All right, um, Galthix is going to uh, discreetly, you know, he'll go to the bathroom before he leaves Carinza's, and then he'll activate his lantern so he doesn't have to walk around. Getting attention. Ah, okay. Uh, Gothix uses the restroom, rubs his lantern, and uh, <laughs> Ew. don't say it becomes, like that. Yeah, becomes <laughs> invisible. <laughs> rejoins the uh, rejoins the group covertly. And right. um, so, what what are you doing? Are you heading to the media center? Exploring. Uh, what's the plan? Well, there was certainly some interesting information uh, the manager gave us. Um, I guess our what next did, order of business. What did he tell you? He told us that there was a possible lead on the Ganga 3, a G3 restaurant that. Uh, strangely is located on the planet of dart uh that's right like i got that yeah mm -hmm. the planet of dart that's derek says he's like didn't they say we couldn't go down there yes the magnetic fields make it very difficult to actually traverse in and out of the planet but he did recommend potentially a third party outside teleport us in and back out so I think that I'm going to this media center and looking up more information about that here. Third party. Uh, guess that's what we got to do then, huh? Well, now wait. So somebody, somebody would have to transport us down. Well. And then... We would have to trust them to transport us back. That's what it sounded like. Yes. What about... Derek, do we still we, have any Mind Link ships? Non-powered ships from our homeworld? Mike is like... Yeah. In fact, we have one with us. It's just, well, it's little. I'm sorry, say again. Uh, so, in the Explorer, Frobaz, well, Matt, he tried to use anything that he could from the previous ships. The Explorer, because it was designed to go underwater, had a breathable air spell. Permanent so that we would always have clean air to breathe in the Explorer. 
Matt took a shortcut. The air in the current Explorer, the, the new one, comes from the miniaturized original Explorer. So we have the original Explorer. It's, it's part of the new Explorer. I could literally take it out and show you. The only thing is, if we wanted to use it to get down to a planet, first we'd have to make it big again. And then we'd probably have to coat it with something so that it would, you know, not just burn up in the atmosphere. But an interesting idea. Maybe. What if we procure, though? I mean, we could do that. But what if we procure our own transporter device? Install it onto Derek's ship. And that way we trust the person who transports us. I mean, we could do that, Derek chimes in, but that sounds mighty expensive. I don't know if we have the funds for all that. Hmm. Unfortunately, well, some of my funds are locked down now because of problems in some of the systems that I run establishments at. I don't do this, but some of these fine folk don't always use money to procure what they need. <laughs> what are you talking oh. about? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean... <laughs> We could do it the old-fashioned way, for sure. <laughs> so, you're you're kind of having your conversation. Yeah. Another system that we're completely unwelcome in by the time we're done. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. How many, how, how many, uh, how many people can you kill in this city, trying to, uh, trying to steal a, a teleporter? Oh, well, Argyle's not around, so it's the, so the body count won't be. Won't body be count so won't be. Eh, but I don't know. I got Rumby though. That's you got thing. Rumby. You got Solus. There's, there's plenty of people to add, add to the body count. Like Ren's got those, uh, <laughs> go the fucking grenades. True. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you have that conversation, and uh, you make it to the media center, which is the best way to describe it. It looks like an Apple store. Huh. It's just it's just open. There's there's like glass. You kind of see in, there's people kind of hovering around tables with little, like, tablet things on them. There's people looking, and there, there's kind of holograms and stuff, and, you know, it's like, it's like a great big Apple store, you know, you walk in. Starbucks right next door. Starbucks right next door. Definitely, uh, definitely a Galactic Bucks right next door. <laughs> well, and uh, yeah, there are a number of yeah, there's a number of different terminals here uh, with which you can uh, if you kind of if you step up to one, it kind of activates and you kind of get a little menu, even a little a little person that's of your species that says, "Hi, welcome to the Vol Media Center. How can I help you?" Max Headroom. No one else is going to need to do the talking because I'm invisible. True. <clears throat> well, Solus is, isn't invisible, only Gothics. Remember, yeah, you, got but... two, you got two characters there. But you're Solus like, yes. Solus isn't, isn't he, too keen he's on not talking the one to people that does to begin the talking, with. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know All what? Right. <clears throat> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll try to 
telepathy to uh, Solus. Uh, what exactly were we uh, looking for here again? Information on teleportation? Correct. Uh, some some method of getting to the planet of Dart where we can investigate the restaurant, um, whether that be the teleportation method, the potential modifying of uh, the ships to be able to uh, enter the atmosphere, but uses um, uh, the magic, I believe, <laughs> uh, magic guidance instead of technological. There is uh, there is one other thing that you uh, were looking originally uh, looking to the media center to that from last game that I remember and that was to see if you could find a suitable place for the location ritual that uh, that Guthix and Sarth and uh, Zemeth and uh, Gigi were going to participate in. Uh, in which you you are going to need a uh, obviously this gas world is is not particularly suitable. You were trying to see if you could find some place close by that had flora, fauna, nature that you could connect directly to the the land. Gotcha. For, okay. Yeah. So I, I didn't realize. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, I'll approach and say, uh, hello, uh, yes, uh, I have uh, two big questions for you, uh, I'm hoping you can assist with, uh, first of which is a long-range teleportation. I'm really unfamiliar. Could you uh, help me find any and all information on long-range teleportation? Would you like technical information on long-range teleportation? Would you like teleportation services? And it starts to kind of list a bunch of different things. <clears throat> Hmm. Let's see, maybe start with equipment, I guess, maybe more technical side. All right. So you get, you, you say, you kind of choose the technical, <clears throat> you get a lot of technical stuff coming up um, about how teleportation works, you know the the types of like energy supplies needed and there's like there's a whole bunch of just yeah. like technical jargon gotcha then i would switch to like stores or providers or manufacturers or like okay where you, they are uh, installed yeah you switch over to that um and uh it's it's asking you for locale so are you looking for uh are you looking for information, dealers, parts and dealers in this system? Uh, in yes. this sector, you know, beyond. So you narrow it down to the system and um, you do see that there are uh, there are a couple of there are a couple of vendors of this type of technology. Uh, they seem to be quite large companies, uh, but then you also see that there are a few different services. Uh, there is even one that actually specifically catches your your information or for your attention, because apparently one of these companies offers. Uh, teleportation recreation services and one of the locations that they purport to uh, teleport to is the planet Dart. Okay. <laughs> I will definitely take note of them, their whatever contact information there is. Okay. Whatever that works. <clears throat> Yeah, you uh, you get you get some information, and uh, you're able to you're actually able to pull up their like their site basically, and in the node, and you can kind of see like all of their offerings. Apparently, they teleport from ships, large crafts, and uh, they specialize in teleporting to locations. Uh, that are not easily gotten to. Uh, their prices seem pretty high, though. Expensive. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything that mentions return teleportations, or is it only talking about one-way trips? 
So you're looking and you see usually it, it, the return, it's like a scheduled thing where you're like there for, you know, in your destination for a certain amount of time. Uh, it depends on how long and everything, but it's all scheduled out. And you're looking and it, uh, you're able to pull up listings for Dart and a one week stay on the planet Dart, both trips included per person is 30,000 credits. That is a little expensive. It's pretty high. Per person per day? Per per person, oh, so per person per for a week. Oh. To go to the place that nobody wants to go, you got to spend 30,000 credits. You got to spend 30,000 credits. It's it's actually probably more to get back. Because they, well, like when you're looking at it, there's like all these like warnings and disclaimers. Apparently, you have to like sign a bunch of like releases. Well, okay, the... look look this up. What? So apparently, this planet of Dot, this exile planet, at least has restaurants on it. That means people are there or come and go to visit. How do they usually do that? Do they have to go through these teleportation systems? They have their own self-contained economy, and the people on the planet itself are so isolated and have their own restaurants and stuff. But there yeah, is... that is a good question. Do people travel to and from Tart? There is one other thing that we've not discussed yet. If the if in fact the Gengar is down there on dart as a restaurant and technology doesn't work how are we getting it out how do we get it out mm -hmm. that's a good question actually mike yeah and and this is something that i don't know that we actually knew that there's miniature mini miniaturization technology in this on, on, in this universe no you knew you just probably forgot because they <laughs> I, you the you knew that the ships all of the sh previous ships were miniaturized because you knew you had them you still had them in your possession you may not have right. known that some of them were used in the construction of the other ships like the the explorer but yeah, you, you knew that, that that existed, at least in Frobaz. Do you, do you, Mike, do you think that Matt still has the miniaturization technology? I have no idea. Because if he does, it would be a simple fact of going down, determining whether the Gengar is there, miniaturizing it putting it in our pocket <laughs> and bringing it back with us i like this idea that's assuming that process isn't you know technical or powered because then that process wouldn't work down there either this is true Well, I guess uh before Dan was going to talk I think uh Gothics was going to had a question I, I mean I, I I said uh basically how do people get in and out of the planets I mean, Oh yeah if, yeah yeah even if it was an isolated system um they must have gotten there somehow So uh so you you look up uh, travel and population on the planet Dart, and you get a little bit of uh, you know information, like a, kind of a little write up about the planet Dart, and it tells you that the planet Dart uh, has this mag magnetic field that you know it nullifies powered tech, making it uh, incredibly difficult uh, for for travel back and forth. 
However, to some people, this makes it an enticing place to be. Um, apparently, there is a uh, there is a large population of charl in uh, one of the major forests that is local to Dart that has always been there, um, and Ooh. they do not travel. Uh, there are other various settlements down there. Information is kind of spotty because generally people that go down do not come back up. For the most part, it seems like anybody, like most people that go down there either die down there or stay down there. Okay. And Charl are intergalactic are elves? Elves, yes. Right. Yeah, okay. yeah. So so there's a there's a large population of elves that uh that live in this uh forest that surrounds this giant mountain down there. And uh it's it's estimated that there's probably somewhere around, you know, like eight million elves. Eight million? Wow. That like live in this forest on this giant forest in this on this planet. Um and then the the non Charl population is thought to be in the thousands. Okay. So And those populations Charl... are are kind of separated as well. Apparently the Charl down there are tribal and like we're in our forest, you know, sure. you know, kind of a little xenophobic. And uh, and then there are there are other settlements that have uh, that have various other other species of people who chose to go down there for one reason or another. Right. Well, I guess that answers several of our questions. There um, is a, a, a little blurb about uh, about uh, um what would you call it, recreational travel to Charles, um, which talks about the, the possibility of, of, you know, getting, getting teleported down and teleported back up. Uh, that little blur mainly talks about the risks involved and the fact that, like, generally people that have that kind of experience are people like adrenaline junk. It's like, it's meant to be like a, it's you know like it's mm -hmm. it's an intense experience that you may not come back from basically okay well is that we have to take the risk uh, is well, that sufficient for the ritual that we were looking at as well uh gothics will do some research about the natural state of the other planets in the system. Okay. Uh, Guthix is assisted by Gigi and Zemeth and, of course, Sarth. And uh, they do a, a bit of research on the, the elves. And apparently, the, uh, the mountain is, uh, is, is quite a place. Sarth actually says to Guthix, Sarth, Sarth, Sarth. Of course, everybody else hears that. Right. Gothics. This planet. The energy about it. It is an elemental junction. It's the perfect spot. <laughs> well, I s suppose that's we're going to dot then. It could be dangerous, though. Well, we haven't shied away from danger yet, have we? We just this need to true. find a way to keep ourselves alive and complete our objective. Ah, uh, yes. This we will do. So, you've gotten a bunch of information from the media center. Uh, Mike says, well, uh, if we go back to the, the hangar bay, I could... Uh, I can show you guys the explorer and everything what I mean. 
And uh, I guess we could probably contact the Destiny from Derek's ship if we needed to do that. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. So is everybody going to head back to the uh, to the bay, or is anybody going to try need need to check anything out here? I think my characters are good. Okay. So you yeah. head back to the bay. Uh, Mike digs in the the uh, the destiny. There's like a there's like a a panel in the floor, and he like pops the panel out of the floor, and he pulls this thing out, and it's like this capsule about the size of a like a six inch hoagie, and he goes. And he like opens it up, and inside is the explorer. It's like the the little. It looks like a little wooden model of the explorer, but uh, he assures you that it is the actual explorer. Quite funny. <laughs> yeah, there are uh, there are a couple of instances where there are things from the original ship that uh that that power things in the new ship for example the uh on the destiny all of the water comes from this giant enchanted basin that just creates like fresh water wow and in the old destiny they were like it was kind of pumped to different parts of the ship but for the most part you had to like go and get your water but in the new destiny it's all hooked up to this like you know this like pump water system so everybody has fresh water like everywhere in the ship which is actually super rare it's one of the like crazy unique things about the destiny because it's like that's powered by magic so it's like the destiny always has water just like the explorer it's the one of the things even if the explorer were to lose life support it would it would at least have breathable air if nothing else Cool. Assuming that the little explorer was plugged into it. <laughs> but yeah. So so what do you guys need to do with this little explorer then? Well, like I said, we'd have to figure out how to make it big. And then as from what I understand, the uh all the all the tensions and the uh, the heat from entering an atmosphere, we'd probably have to coat it with something. Uh, I think, uh, and then Drake chimes in and he's like, yeah, we'd probably have to coat it with some titanium. Get it all fixed up there. And then on top of that, find a way to tether the Ganger 3 or miniaturize the Ganger 3 and attach it to our ship. Ooh. Hmm. Mike takes a deep breath and he says, uh, I don't know if I could tow a ship that size. It'd all be me. And uh, uh, we never done anything like that before. If there was a way to lighten it, like a, a spell. Featherfall. Uh, but it'd have to be something that could be applied to uh, mm -hmm. that type of a, a craft, that large of something. Hmm. Let's see what I've got. It's been a second since I've taken a look at my spell list. I don't believe I have anything. Unless there is a crazy, crazy use for rope trick that I'm not seeing here. <laughs> <laughs> rope trick. Let's see. Yeah. I mean, you could attach rope trick to the, the ganger. <laughs> attach the rope to the ganger and then try and pull it, but... uh. I think you'd still have maybe the same issues. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Rope trick is a is a 
awesome spell though. Oh, I love that spell. Und great. Most underrated old school D and D spell. <laughs> Rib trick. Well, it doesn't seem um, like I have anything that would be very applicable. No, neither does Mary. Here quick. Mary doesn't have anything. <clears throat> Mike is an elementalist. Maybe we could spend time uh, trying to find some uh, magic education. I'm Almost always great. up for magic education. <laughs> <laughs> Any tome traders on the planet? doesn't look like Mike has anything at the moment that would help, but he is an elementalist, so, you know, it's, it's possible that, that he could learn something. Um, it's possible. Or that uh, it's possible that uh, the, um, the clerics of the group, you never know, or the dru there's a druid... Mm -hmm. And there are elves down on the planet, so it's hard to say what's what's what kind of magic is going on down there. I wouldn't be able to say myself, but you never know. Right. Yeah, perhaps in uh, you know this elven society where there's a bunch of elemental forces meshing together, uh, we could learn down there. Um, so what route do we want to go? What do you all think? Well, what? what would the cost to what would the cost be to deminiaturize the ship and then coat it? Hell if I know. <laughs> that uh, that coating you Did mentioned. They... If they even have that technology here. What, uh, is it hard to come by? What we uh, would need to coat the ship if we were to make it large again. Well, it, uh, it is pretty expensive, that stuff. But, uh, you know, they use it for the hulls of the ships, so, uh, yeah. You would um, think somebody around here would have some. Mike. Yeah. That capsule that the explorer is in, what is it made of? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> this thing? Uh, I I see what you're thinking, but it's probably not the uh not the best idea. And he shows you it's got like these little interfaces where like the it's it's not just like a solid tube capsule. It's got because remember the air from the explorer yeah. comes from the little so it's got like all these little interfaces and stuff. It's he gets where you're going, but he's like, eh, no, I don't, I don't think so. We probably have to coat it, the actual surface of the the ship. I'm assuming. We could look into it. Um, Mike is going to go ahead and see if he can contact the Destiny. Because remember, the Destiny is pretty far away at the moment. And... Uh, okay. So... Mike, Mike is able to contact the Destiny, um, and he asks if anybody needs to get any information or relay information to the Destiny. He is going to ask the question to Matt about the, the miniaturization. But is there anything else anybody else needs to, needs to 
you know, other than, hey, we made it to the system. And this is the deal. Maybe just right. get a status on the get a status on the other on the other team if they know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You. Uh. You. So Mike. Uh, Mike talks to the commander. He comes back out and he says, "Well, they made it over there to uh, Pergamenti and." Looks like they ran into some trouble, but I guess everything is uh, everything is okay now. Uh, as far as the miniaturization technology, it was something that Froboz had. Apparently, uh, according to Matt, uh, kind of ironically, the miniaturizing machines are massive uh like unlikely to be able to fit on a ship like Derek's or maybe not even fit on the destiny so if anything like that exists here it's probably stationary in one of these cities he also okay. confirmed that uh, the miniaturization technology, if nothing else powered, works down on that planet, then that wouldn't work either. As in? As in, even if we had a miniaturization machine down on the planet, it would just be a big hunk of metal. It'd be useless. So that route is out. Hmm. What? Okay. What is the domain of Featherfall? Is that a wizard thing? Mm hmm. What? Do you know uh, what level that is? One invocation. Two. Too bad a, we don't it's... have key. No, too bad we don't have Kegel in her floating disc. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know that that's going to be any help. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh... Yeah. Um. Let's see. So, da, 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 da. Featherfall. Um, am I retarded? That's honestly, a, I don't think it even but... work for what we're trying to do here. Yeah, yeah. I was just, uh, I was just looking because you asked, and I'm like, is it? Uh... You know what? Featherfall might not even officially exist in this in this version. Oh, really? Um, yeah, yeah, because I don't see it. I'm like looking, and I don't see it on the list. But it is. Uh, it, I think I made it an elementalist spell. So Mike actually has the spell Featherfall, but it's. I don't know that it would. It's really going to help in this situation necessarily. Um, let's see. So Guthix, no, it, uh, it has to exist in this version. Guthix a while back decided he was going to spec into alternative magics, and we talked about you know what that could mean. Mm -hmm. um, maybe whether Featherfall, if Featherfall already exists and Matt has it, um, then maybe we could work on some magical tinkering to modify the spell into something that could be accurate. Um, appli applicable, can't say the word, uh, to the ship so that it could be light enough to tow. True. Um, that is true. Uh, the other spell that Mike has, 
um, that's also kind of in the same realm is, uh, and this actually might be better than Featherfall, is he has the spell Fly. Mm -hmm. um, which, of course, it only applies to himself, but again, if there was a way to, you know, to, uh, to, to make it apply to something else to enhance the spell or, or something, something such of, of that nature, then uh, possibly possibly because he does yeah he does have the spell fly but it doesn't like protect him from anything he can only fly himself sure yeah maybe we could mess around with that maybe um anything that he could touch and stays in contact with has that ability uh that doesn't seem like it'd be too hard to figure out how to make work Hmm. What if, now this might be crazy, what if we were able to get the explorer down there and then we were somehow able to attach the helm of the explorer to the ganger? so that I could control it with magic. Ah, uh, like merge the ships together. Yeah. Uh, none of us have that... We None of us even had that ability when we were at home. Those those ships were, were built by... nth-level wizards. <laughs> Well, um, actually, that's not um, actually true. <laughs> I uh, uh, I had a hand in in uh, in making the albatross fly. If you remember, Ren ship was a regular ship when we uh, when we first. Well, until I got a hold of it. Right here, buddy. <laughs> So, but, I mean, the Ganger, assuming it's the same size as Drake's, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing the thing didn't have, you know, weird, different size reject arms, then uh, that's a pretty big ship, and uh, I don't know. We wouldn't know until we, well, until we tried. <laughs> Only one person helmed the explorer, or the the destiny. That's true. When it when it flew, and That's the true. destiny is much larger. Yeah, uh, the destiny had a lot more enchantments on it, I think, though. And I never flew that. Ship. We would only need. To, we would only need to get it into the atmosphere. Or above the atmosphere, out of the gravitational field. True. I'm willing to bet that if there are millions of Shahreen down on this planet, then they've figured out methods of organizing technology or society that works around the magnetic fields. And uh, I bet... If nothing else, we could get their help. We may need their help anyway. With our ritual. Well, now we just gotta get down mm -hmm. there. Yes. <clears throat> so, let's see. If we're going to take this miniaturized ship and make it large, um, maybe, uh, let's see, what is what's the system called? You know. Where's this place at? 
to get down there. I think I've got an idea that might be able to get us down there without costing us a whole lot of credits. Solus and Rhyme Crime and what's his face? Surprise concert on uh... <laughs> the very desolate planet of uh, Garden. No, that's an interesting one. Using Ooh. your using your fame, everybody seems to want your picture, wants their business to be associated with you people. You people. Wait a second. So you're saying uh, we make it a publicity event, like, hey, these superstars are going down to this desolate world or something like that. The only problem well, is, once we're down there, they wouldn't be able to see us. They could gamble on our deaths. They were gambling on us when we were in that damned race. Why wouldn't they gamble on us again? Now that's Will they make it back? Now that's interesting. It, it's something we could try to set up for sure. Well, what does everyone think? Maybe we should put it to a vote. Okay. That's fine so, by me. So, actually, uh, Gothics is de facto leader. He That's outranks right. everybody. Remember when the remember when Nova made you know he he gave everybody well actually Gothic gave everybody he Guthix gave everybody and war yeah the in in this group Gothics and Thawar are are equal ranked so so technically they're the they're co they're co captains they're... of this team so. <laughs> So if you're yeah if we're going by that if we're going by uh by the yeah. uh by rank it, by by it, military it, order then uh then yeah it's yeah. it's uh it it definitely would be Gothics and and Thawar that would have to make that call because I remember at the very beginning it, it, Nova made Gothics and Anya the two highest ranked people mm. mm -hmm. and then he chose his own. He he made because remember he he made you guys choose and then he picked his own, mm -hmm. so that's he you guys chose Anya and Guthics and then he picked uh he picked the war. Okay. That's, so um. Well, the war. What do you think? In terms of the. Uh... Concert. I, I don't. I still don't quite see how this would help us. I guess it would help us get there or procure funds to get there, but I don't see how it helps us get the ship out. It's only a means to get there. Once we're there, we're there. Yes, I think uh, from what it seems that we know. We're probably just going to have to figure things out once we're down there. Although the, the idea of attaching the Explorer to the Ganga 3, if it's even there in the first place. Um, That's true. Like I said, I didn't get any visuals on it, so I don't know. One well, thing wait. we could try. It does, doesn't the Explorer... You said the Explorer is inside this little tube, right? And that had and that interfaces to the rest of the bigger explorer. 
correct. So are the so did Matt attach interfaces to the outside of the small explorer to interface with the bigger one? Does that make sense? So basically basically what it how it works is that the little explorer, the only reason that that is a part of the big explorer is for the air. So that little attachment, what it does is it sucks the fresh air oh, out okay. of okay. the little explorer. Okay. There's no, I there's understand. no actual change to the little explorer itself. When it goes okay. into this little tube, it just, you just open the back hatch so that the air flows, okay. and then it gets okay. pumped out into the, into the bigger I was gonna explorer. Say, if there, if there were, if, if there were things that were like augmented into the, into the thing that you could just mm -hmm. plug it in. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 okay. no, no. Like okay. the, the little explorer fits into this thing and then closes up and then fits into the is basically. Right. But yeah, the little explorer. If you blew it up, it's the explorer. It's the okay. old school wood and metal. You know, it even still has fucking ballistas. <laughs> I mean, it's it's the explorer as it was, so it still has like you know old school weaponry and shit. Though if you had to code it, you would kind of block off those things though i guess you could make it so that you could open them up you could have your hatches open and still shoot out once you got down into the uh into the air <laughs> see, so see we that's it we we make it so big that it's larger than the <laughs> ganger <laughs> yeah then it would be uh, like very difficult for mike to fly it <laughs> He'd have to fly it like Kegel, where he stands in the seat and puts his arms out. Because <laughs> she's so short that she can't, like, really sit down in the thing. She has to stand and hold the things. <laughs> but, um, well, so what is the decision? You, uh, is, do, do, do you think you're going to, uh, do you think you're going to, try and teleport down there and just figure it out do you want to try and figure out something with the uh with the the little explorer we could call it a scouting party and just plan on sending a group down and then teleporting back up in a week if they can't figure anything out and use recruit the uh the teleportation service and just pay however many credits 150,000 credits. I mean, either way, if we were able to organize a concert, we might be able to... Just cover it. To cover it. And just not connect the two events. Yes, yeah. if you were to make some... Excuse for uh, Hans Prona to be here, the planet of Dot. Maybe a personal request. A personal request. <laughs> oh, I know. To send I, him to exile. <laughs> I've been too pop lately. I really need to find myself. I need to take some time and think. Take some time and think. He's got to go down to the planet of exile, exile himself for a week. So that he can get this new album out. He's taking rhyme, <laughs> and he's taking rhyme, crime, and solace with him. God mm -hmm. damn it! You needed well, some inspiration for your new album, so you wanted to see the sights to the mountain. Well the then, if we do it that way, who's going down? Uh, well, obviously, I would. I would be going down. Um. I guess it's a matter of if we are doing this concert scheme, uh, convincing uh, whoever is going to pay for us. GG says, uh, I'm confident we can make the money. Well, then let's do it. Of course, it's going to have to be, you know, we're going to have to reach out. And... So, 
so <clears throat> you're all in the bay. GG begins to uh, start to make some uh, contacts and calls. Here's a question. Mike. Yeah? What if we don't deminiaturize the Explorer? Can you fly the Explorer by, say, putting your finger into the helm? <laughs> we, 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 con we connect the miniature Explorer to, to the Ganger somehow. You put your finger into the helm. You're touching the helm. The piloting thimble. And then you, and then you pilot it that way. Would that work? As as, as you're like saying it, his head keeps like tilting more to the side, and he's like, uh... try it. We could try it now." <laughs> so, so, Mike takes the thing. He's got the explorer. And he's like, he, <laughs> he opens up the back, he opens up the little doors on the back, and he like sticks his finger in, <laughs> and he's like kind of prodding around. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> and, uh, is your finger uh, too big? I... No, I think it it's just I got to get it over the hump and into the <laughs> into the seat. So it's a little weird. He's like oh god. All right. Oh, what is this? What's going to happen? <laughs> um Let's see. Let's see what happens. So, uh, so Mike sticks his finger in the thing. He's kind of like, he's kind of like wiggling it around. <laughs> and like, after a minute, you see him go, zoom! <laughs> he like, he's got the thing, and he like flies up. But what happens is that, like, he doesn't hang on. So he, like, only goes up, like, a few feet. And then, like, he, like, comes back down. The explorer comes back down. And uh, the explorer drops back down. And uh, somebody's got to try to catch it. Yeah, I was going to, Mike was going to try and catch it since it's headed for his head. So, uh, oh he, oh my God. he, like, he, like, he, he, like, flops back on the ground, and then the thing, like, bops him on the head, and he kind of, like, it, it does one of those things where it kind of, like, it kind of, like, makes him, like, stumble around, and, uh, the explorer, like, clatters to the ground, and he's, like, uh, we'll call that a maybe? <laughs> Well, if we can figure out how to interface the Explorer in its current form into the Ganger, we can just reach your finger in there, and we could possibly fly the Ganger that way with your finger. <sighs> oh, we're we're weird, a weird <laughs> bunch, aren't we? <laughs> I guess uh, I guess it's possible that it could work. Uh, so, um, Gigi comes back out from the, uh, from Derek's ship, and she's like, All right, I think we have some pre preliminary deals in place. We're going oh. on in three days. And she looks at everybody and she says, All of us. 
All of us? Yes, all of us. I think I can put together a show that will, well, be beneficial for everyone to participate. Of course, the war and Ren, they know their parts, but I think that we can do other things too. Drake could be our MC. Uh, yeah. I can do whatever you need me to do, Mama. And <laughs> Solus, you are a fighter. Can you fight rhythmically? Well, oh, sorry, wrong voice. Well, uh, <laughs> I suppose I could. My Until mystic training. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My mystic training. Uh, you know, I, I feel pretty confident in my coordination most of the time. So, yes, I, I suppose I could do that. Perhaps some acrobatics if need be. And Mary, you're a priestess. Certainly you can sing. Can she? Did she actually take that? Let's see. She's got to be able to sing a little bit, right? It's generally based on your charisma. So if she's got like a decent charisma, she's got like a probably a good. Uh... Yeah, she's she's got a decent. She's got like a fifteen in charisma. She's oh yeah, she's charisma. a real real good charisma. Yeah, she could probably and sing. I can see that you'll be able to learn all the lyrics very quickly. Because she's got that, the thing. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah. She's going to be able to. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's going to be able to link that. And then uh, Gigi looks over at Rumby and Mike, and she says, "Well, we could always use security." <laughs> <laughs> you know, he plays with fire. Uh, yeah. I like fire. Good night. Yo. Good night. All right. <laughs> Good night, dude. I got it. I can't stay it's, up super late. I gotta it's get all sleep. good. It's all good. You'll have to know if it's going to be the same next week. Maybe we can start a little bit earlier. Well, it's always, like, honestly, it's just hitting the point where it's like I'm realizing that I'm, like, old. <laughs> and, 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 and like getting up like at like five thirty in the morning to work and actually be focused and start working, it's bad. Uh, would it help if we started at seven? Yeah, but the yeah. I mean, but everyone's always like, "I'll be on like at eight or." <laughs> well, I mean, the the thing is, is like we like we we've, we've been trying to get it so that we start at eight. So it's like if we start at seven, we'll be on at six. Yeah, I mean, I don't care. Like you if know. you start early, that's fine. I mean, that's the thing is, just I just it's it's like because like realistically, like yeah, no, I get it. Say ten thirty is when we would finish up, but we really don't finish. Like finishing up is not really ten thirty. It's more like it continues on. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. yeah, I get it. By the time you get into bed, it's 11.30, and then you have to be up in, like, I can't five hours or something. I try to get to bed. Yeah, yeah, like, I yeah, literally no. lay in bed for, like, an hour or so just trying to get to bed. So I feel like, that. I'll, I'll, probably, I'll, get, I'll get ready for bed now, and I'll probably not get in, get to sleep until, like, like 11 probably, like, going on 11 o'clock. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I get that. I get that. Well, maybe we we maybe we can do that. Maybe we can try and start an hour yeah. early. Maybe yeah, we can, that's uh, cool. Everybody in. Cool. All right. Well, have a good night, dude. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right. Later. Yeah. So um. Okay. So Gigi. Uh, she um. Yeah, she says uh. Let's get started and um, get this party started. Right. Let's start Let's get practicing and training. Practicing and training. 
So, um, God, she is going to, uh, she's gonna, she's gonna come up with a little bit of show. She's gonna. So go ahead, uh, Thawar. Do you got? Do you got any new hits for us? Do you got any new, uh, any Ooh. new songs we songs can incorporate? Titles. Hmm. Or we we'll just play uh, the hits. We get. We have to have a new one. Um. Gigi's got some songs too, of course. She's got a whole catalog. I don't know. I don't. I don't have anything thematically. It's it's the exile tour. The exile tour. <laughs> Uh, it's, I mean, well, it's not even a tour; it's just one show. So it's, it's Exile Festival in Zarya Wandi. <laughs> X Fest. X Fest. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um. So Gigi starts putting sh the show together, and um, she uh. She uploads uh. She uploads some song lyrics and musics into uh, into Mary's device, and uh, this is the first time we've ever done this. So uh, go ahead and save, make a saving throw versus Death Ray. God. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh god! Here we go. She's a little woozy. It's a little weird getting like this injection of knowledge into her brain, but after a few minutes, she's able to calm down, like lower her heart rate, and, and then like she uh, she's like, okay, all right, and uh, yes, yeah, she now knows all the songs. Like she knows all the all a bunch of backup parts, and. And Gigi didn't tell her that she was going to do this. But she uploaded a bunch of dance moves, too. So there's, <laughs> so there's, so there's like, there's lyrics and choreography and music that God. Mary now has in her brain for, like, all this weird music that, you know, is the type that uh, Thwar and, and Gigi do and... Um, it's it's not like what she's used to, but uh, you know it's yeah. in there. It's in there now. Okay. So she works with the group uh, in order to uh, to get everything to get everything all put together. Other than practicing, because obviously you're here on Zwaria Wandi. You're in this city. It's like a pretty large. While you're here, is anybody going to do anything other than practice for the show? Yes. Yeah. So, Mary's stuck on the idea of Mike flying with his finger. With his finger? Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> she's going to use her augmentation to try to figure out how to incorporate how to interface the the explore the mini explorer into something like the Gengar. There's okay. gotta there, we have to figure out how to interface that so that it works. Are you going to uh are you going to go to like the, the media center and do some research and stuff? She's going to go to the media center and do some research, but she's also um, going to get as much information from Mike and from Jake. Drake. Drake. Fucking who whoever. Is, who is not as smart as Jake, by the way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so okay. working working with Jake with with Drake and and Mike. 
Well, Drake Drake flew the thing. Or, no, he didn't fly this one, did he? Or was no, but he one? he I'm mean, he didn't fly this one. But I mean, they're you know he yeah, he they're, flies. They're, they're similar, so, right? Yeah. So it's gonna work with the, with them to try to figure out how best to make an to intelligence check. Oh yeah. You've been doing some research. And you've come to a conclusion that maybe Mike is not the right person to fly the ship. Maybe you are. Because you can fly a like a helmed airship. She can. She has. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you also have a link, which so means she could, she could actually use her body as the link. As the link. The only thing is that obviously the technology part of it would get interfered in the down below, but once you were up, it might you might be able to keep that link, you know, as the transition because there's going to be so as you do more research, you're thinking maybe it's you. Okay. But she also she also realizes that because I, I can't remember if this works, but if somebody's in a helm and somebody else and somebody another magic user, another magic using person touches the person in the helm, that helps, doesn't it? There there have there have been instances where uh, where somebody is you've had instances where somebody who was helming an airship had an issue or got knocked unconscious and somebody else was able to control by uh by doing that okay okay i think you even had an issue where somebody was like piloting and somebody fucked them up by touching them yes yeah because it happened it, i'm pretty sure it happened to me it was either uh, Sid or someone yeah 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 so i think uh i think that uh, that also happened okay. so you, you are aware that there is there's there's an effect mm -hmm. um Man, maybe somebody should have been uh, should have been spending a bunch of social link tokens so that they could get uh, so that they could get some linkage here. That might that might have helped with <laughs> something like this. Gosh, guys, I wonder why you don't do that more often. <laughs> Actually, somebody does have the social link with with Mike. It's Argyle. Who happens to be off somewhere else, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, true. True. Well, so Mary does some research. The problem is, is that, like, all of this stuff is, like, she's, like, telling the computer, like, what she's trying to do. And, like, all of it is, like, very theoretical. All of it is very like maybe this could work if we did it just the right way, but eh. yeah. And unfortunately, all of your very very technical minded people are in the other party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. At this point, so but Mary has a start. She has an idea. Um. All right, so who else? Somebody else was going to do something. Uh, yeah, don't have to do it tonight, but I just wanted to see if there was any, like, uh, magic shops or anyone that dealt in non-technological magical wares in the city. When you do research about magic, um, yeah, it seems that in this city and... It, in most of the surface Zwaria Wandi cities, there's there's not a lot to do with magic. However, mm -hmm. what you find is that 
apparently magic is used down on Dart. Gotcha. Because obviously it's it's pretty clear that uh, you know tech doesn't work down there. Um, so yeah, it seems that uh, it seems that in your research, first of all, you find that the uh, the elves of Dart, the Charl of Dart, have uh, are are known for their great spirituality. Uh, so that there's there's possibly some some magic there, though it doesn't go too far into it because again they're they're very solitary and kind of xenophobic um but apparently yeah apparently there are there are cases of of for example uh you you find a, a case of like a wizard that went down there to like st study something down there and there's like sometimes people go down and just don't return so likely that there's some magic but the problem is is the information about dart is very it's sketchy because it's all basically all of the information from dart is somebody had to come back and tell them right it's like there's nothing recorded there's no you know there's no pictures from down there there's no audio video anything like that so it's I all kind realized. of like secondhand information I just realized something. Hmm. There are people down there who went down there who could never come back. Some people did it on purpose. Others did it by accident. We may run into people who want to help us because they want to get out. Yeah. It's a possibility. There's a, po there's, a po there's a possibility that we may run into people who want to get out. Yeah, yeah. I mean that that could be a discussion. Who may be able to help us? May, maybe a, a bit of discussion that's had in these three days, and uh, maybe there's somebody down there. Yeah. All right. So uh, okay. Uh, anyone else in the three days? Uh, mm, not Gothics, particularly. Solus, Ren. Nobody needs to do anything else. All right. Well, then. Uh, you uh, you practice and uh, you practice and train for your three day concert for your concert in three days. Three oh, days. Three day right. concert, Jesus. Yeah, not a three day concert, just a one night concert. <laughs> and um, and you're even able to uh, have. Uh, you're even able to have your friend uh, Zovert uh, Carinza of the restaurant Carinza's. Mm -hmm. He he uh, he does a little bit of um, he does a little bit of uh, of, of of help there. Um, puts his restaurant's name on it. Does some uh, you know sponsorship as it were, and um, yeah, then the. The night of the show is here. And, I, had a, uh, I, had a, I had a horrible thought. Yeah. Had, this is a horrible, this is the Dan horrible thought. Okay. Not a Mary, not a Mary thought, because Mary would never do this, but Dan would absolutely do this. We should, we should have said that the concert was for the benefit of the Luxon Lillaby system. That got destroyed. <laughs> ah, <laughs> no. <laughs> and then just skimmed the money. And then and just and renege on the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute villain. <laughs> Are we the baddies here? Are we the baddies? <laughs> Are we the baddies? <laughs> yeah. Absolute, yeah. Scum and, absolute scum and villainy at that point. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> All right. Well, I didn't have a concert plan, so uh, let's just make some rolls. Uh, th uh, Thawar, let's get a uh, charisma check for uh, for Hans Proner. We're gonna need a uh, charisma check for Rhyme Crime. <laughs> oh. Not today. Oh. Ah! <clears throat> Social link, go! 
I might, uh... I don't know. Can I auditory illusion some vocals? <laughs> you might have to, yeah. <laughs> what What do I do uh, to help him out here? I will go ahead and oh, test no. it, if it helps. No, I'll tell you what happens. If, if, she, sees him, if she sees him choke, Mary jumps in there, because she knows all the songs. Oh, yeah, true. Okay. So... So Mary co comes in and uh, starts uh, starts singing, and she's uh, she's she's helping out a little bit. And um, so there there was there was there's that social there, there's one of those social links, I guess. I don't know. Well, is that is that what you uh, yeah is that what you wanted yeah, why to not? do? You really you yeah. wanted to yeah we'll, we'll use the social link. social link. All yeah, right, we'll, well then uh, go ahead and re-roll that charisma check. Well, that was, maybe that she. Was a that was a three. I, no, no, no. For him, that's for you. But for him, he gets to re-roll ah. now because you spent a token. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, okay. So he can, so he can now re-roll. Maybe you. <laughs> nope. Whoa! <laughs> that, was, that, that, that almost landed on a twenty. Yeah, you, Mary almost like pushed him off stage. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole group effort. I'm jumping in there. Yeah. Uh All right. So, so she she got you a little bit better, but um. All right. Well, Solus, he is. Uh, well, is it Solus or is it uh, is it Gothics? Uh, I guess Solus. Um, Solus. So okay. Solus, what does he need to do? So What's his um, part in the show. Oh, uh, he is. Uh, he's he's doing martial arts, but he's trying mm -hmm. to do it rhythmically to the music. So that's gonna be uh, probably like a. I'm gonna say, oh, an acrobatics check would be perfect because he's like flipping around and doing all kinds no, of things. Oh not. no! This is the this is the worst concert on the, the worst planet. Worst concert ever. <laughs> oh, oh rough. my god! Gothics right. is jumping in there. Yeah, Gothics. Uh, oh man, what is Gothics doing? I don't. I, you know what? We never. We never had a uh, a thing for Gothics. Is he? Uh, is he? Is he gonna try and sing? Uh, let's see. What is my charisma? My charisma is terrible. Terrible. Um, <laughs> what if I was doing theatrics, but with magic? Ah, yeah, that's true. You could do that. Um question is what kind of i bet i have something like dancing lights or fairy lights or something oh yeah 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 uh oh yeah for sure all right so guthics has got some of the uh the fire going and uh ren let's have a uh, let's get a charisma check for ren maybe maybe he can wrap wrap the show to a successful conclusion ren we're gonna need everything we've got here everything you got Maybe. Unless Hera fell asleep. Oh, there we go. Nope, here it comes. Ah, not right. bad. Not bad. Getting things back on track. All right. Well, we'll we're coming to the big finale. I'll have everybody do one more roll. So see if uh, see if Hans Proner can uh, redeem himself. Uh, GG is uh, Gigi's killing it as well. Course. Mary's still she's still going. Still going. Hey. Hey everybody everybody right. everybody there we go. Every, everybody seems to be seems to seems to There be we go. The, uh... What about uh, uh what about, yes, what about, uh, hold on. Yeah, yeah. What about Solus here? Uh Solus is actually or Guthix is actually doing okay. Solus. Oh, Gothics. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. Can Solus pull it together and uh, not destroy any more of the set? Okay. Oh, yeah. oh my oh, god! Yeah. Wow. All right, 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 right. They had a decent finale. There we go. So yeah, you uh, you busted it out for the finale. Had a decent finale. It wasn't the best show, but uh, let's see. No, he's oh. a young up and coming star, learning the craft. Yeah, you know. Special guest appearances. Lots of special guest appearances. Let's see about the audience reaction here. Oh, wait a minute. Show. You need to Ooh. you need 
you need to roll a charisma check for for oh for, for Drake, Drake because True. he could he could actually save the show with his charisma. Well, also he's he's kind of the MC a little bit. So yeah. for the beginning and the end of the show, that's that's true. That's true. We'll get uh, Charles Drake here. Dunstan, there he is. Oh damn! <laughs> so Drake yeah. Drake for his role as a hype man. And uh, and as the MC, yeah, he's definitely able to uh, to get people hyped. You know, so much the uh, the music's thumping and everything. You you can barely hear the vocals anyway. It's fine. Uh, so Let's go break. So yeah, you uh, you ended the show with a uh, a ninety percent approval rating, and uh, so that was pretty good. People are very happy, and uh, let's see here. Uh, after all of the uh, after all of, of the fees and everything, your final take. Uh oh, that was Garrett. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. He was the one that's supposed to record it. <laughs> True. Uh, after all that, let we'll let Garrett get back in here. Yep, I'm here. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> After all that, your uh, your your final take for the show was uh, two hundred thousand credits. That's what the group yeah. was able to net for the uh, for the show. After after everything is said and done, and so. Now you've got some funds. The show's over. Things, uh, things, uh, you know. Now people know that you're there. You, you, you almost can't even leave the bay. Because you get, like, swarmed and stuff. Um, there's also, uh, there's also a, uh, a scathing article, uh, oh, that comes that out by, uh, Wista Tway. <laughs> Wista Tway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Love yeah. that guy. Yeah, Wista, Wista, uh, put out, uh, he, he was, he was watching remotely, put out a, a really, really scathing review, um, also oh talked God. about uh is also... what's her face coming is is the is that what's her face host lot she... <laughs> i mean you don't know now 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 that she knows where uh where you are <laughs> you know it'd be a mighty big co coincidence for host lot to be just hanging around the zwario wandi system but uh but uh you know yeah, she might be headed here now. Yeah, that's that's definitely a possibility. In in the back of uh, Thawar's mind, he remembers being uh, locked in her room, uh, getting his <laughs> DNA and <ins> extracted. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, not great, but overall, a uh, a pretty resounding success. But you realize that uh, you're going to have to get moving on your plan. Uh, the concert has put a kind of a high profile on you. And uh, now you have, like, if you go out, like, there's, there's essentially paparazzi following you. Mm. Um... 
I mean, if we have a couple of days before we go down, I can say I can save some. Uh, not mirror image. That's the right one. Doppelganger. Uh, so we can alter appearances if need be. Ah, okay. All right. <clears throat> oh yeah. Also, uh, Ren is uh, Ren is a master of disguise or something. Did um, did Anya take back her thing? Anya, the last thing I remember with that is that Anya had Anya had it. Anya never really used it. She held on to it, but she really never used it. Mm -hmm. Like she would let other people use it if they mm -hmm. needed to use it. Yeah. She never had it on her. I don't think she had it on her when she was abducted or went freely or whatever happened to her. Mm -hmm. So it may have been in her room. So unless somebody actually grabbed it. Gotcha. All right. It might still yeah, be on the ship. Yeah, un unlikely that she would have yeah had it with her. I, I don't think so. But... Uh, you've got Topper Ganger. You've got uh, you've got Ren's ma Ren's makeup magic and uh, and uh, Gigi's probably pretty good at that stuff too. Um, so you're able to uh, if somebody needs to get out and kind of uh, be covert, you 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 are able to. So what is the plan? Now you've got cash. You've done some research. We're here. You're here. Um, time to go down, baby. Oh, we're here. Um, let's see. I guess, uh, Guthix is going to consult with Marth and have him guide based on the strongest spiritual energy that he feels. And it's probably going towards the mountain or... Wherever oh well, we're not. We're not, you're not down on the planet yet. Oh, we're not. No, because you haven't. You haven't. You just did the concert to to raise the money to uh, to get down there. But it, they, they were, there was still a question of how exactly you were going to get down if you were going and who all was going. Oh, oh, I thought we were doing the concert on the planet. Um, no, no, then... you did the concert in the in the. Uh, yeah, in the city. No, because you, you that was the the idea of the concert was to get funds and to raise money to uh, to have resources to do whatever you need to do to get to the planet. Gotcha. Well, then we probably want to use the teleport. And, um, we have the money now, right? One thing. Oh, you know, we've got to we've got to figure out how many of us are, are actually going because we keep forgetting that we we've got that extra elf with us yeah it's true so we've, uh, yeah we've got, and, and, and i don't think derek should go i think we need to leave somebody here and i think we need to leave derek here uh derek is absolutely fine with like staying with his ship in in the case because he's basically Derek says yeah that's a good idea because like I can you know if if you figure out a way to get the ship coming up I can kind of monitor things and like you know be there if there's any issue in in my ship obviously can't go down to the planet but it, you know so yeah Derek is a hundred percent fine with uh staying back and he thinks that that is uh is probably a good idea um One, two three four five One, two, three, four, five, six. counting with seven, dan seven eight <laughs> so so that's eight people that that's that would be eight people because i think there are nine in the party with derek or no, Let's there see. are ten in the party with Two, Derek. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ah, ah, eleven ah, in ah. the party with Derek. So that oh, means eleven. 
ten people going down at thirty at thirty thousand apiece. That's three hundred thousand. We made two hundred thousand, so we need to come up with another hundred thousand to go. <laughs> <laughs> to get to get all ten people down. To get everybody to go down. Let's see how much. I feel like I have a little bit of funds. Uh, Drake is like, oh, I might be able to chip in something. GG also has a little, some funds that are not locked down. Let's see. Between Jake or Drake and GG. And uh, a little bit that uh, that even even Derek is willing to th throw in a little bit for the mission. Uh, you got seventy three thousand additional, so you only need twenty seven thousand. Let's see. All of my credits are on Timmy, so <laughs> for some reason doesn't Ren doesn't Ren have like a a butt ton of credits? He might. He might. <laughs> oh, you know. Because I know Mary's broke. Bro. Mary doesn't have anything. Mary, does, Mary doesn't broke. have... Mary has no money. She yeah, just, yeah, yeah. She doesn't have money. That makes sense. You know. Two seventy three. Was Ren willing to to kick in that uh, twenty seven twenty seven thousand? Is that how much his share cost? Technically, that's how share, much. Technically, his share would be thirty thousand. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I can chip in the twenty seven thousand. All right, so that that gets you to the the uh, the three hundred thousand that you'll need to get everybody but Derek down to the planet uh, for a week. All right. Oh wait a minute. So how how do the logistics of this work? And and Garrett's gone again. I know. <laughs> womp womp. Hmm. Uh, as far as you can tell from this company's site, basically you, uh, you, you, you make an appointment with this company and they pick you up on one of their large, uh, teleporter ships. Uh, they get as close as possible to the planet dart without having it interfere with their systems. And, uh, then they teleport you down to a very specific place, and the it is your responsibility to get back to that exact same place, the designated place at the designated time. You have to be in the right place at the right time because that's the only way that they can get you back. Because otherwise, they have no idea how well, like where you are on the planet. Okay. So you you get all the information and that's that's pretty much what it is and uh and you can do online bookings. They they they've got they've got what they they've got the Trivago. Yeah, yeah, you can uh you, Expedia you can book through Expedia, and uh, yeah, yeah. So, are you going? I believe and so. What are you I'm... taking? Oh, we're definitely taking the Explorer. 
Okay, so you're taking the miniaturized explorer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, here's the other thing to remember. All of your oh. lasers, all of your tech is, according to everything that you're hearing, completely useless on this planet. So, your armor, for the most part, I don't think anybody has tech in any of their armor. Uh... Like, I don't think anybody has any powered armor or anything. Because I, I think Ren wanted some power armor, but settled on a jetpack. Obviously, jetpack's not going to work on the uh, on Dart, <laughs> from from what you know. Flex, yeah, no. Flex Strength Jacket, I don't think is. Yeah, yeah. So, I think mesh. your armor is okay, but all Wait of your stuff... Ren's... It, Ren's grenades Ren's are tech. Ren's grenades, there's only one type of those grenades that will work. There's only one okay. type that doesn't have tech, and it's the uh, it's the um, the web ones, the tangler ones. Mm. Everything else has tech because they like the one of them generates sound. Remember, one of them is like a, a like radiation. There's definitely tech in those grenades. Or you'd be having some problems. <laughs> but yeah, the the one the one grenade that doesn't have tech in it that would that's just a uh, oh, a mechanical. I definitely want to buy more tanglers before I go. Okay, um, but yeah, the tanglers are uh, tanglers for sure. Hundred percent are the only ones that are going to work. The other ones are are not going to work. I'm pretty sure Ren has his uh, his nice daggers and stuff. I guess that's the thing. Uh, Solus. Use any other tech. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, Solus is probably good because he's just straight up, you know, like hand to hand. Gothix mm -hmm. is good because his his weapon is Sarf, <coughs> basically, and and his magic. Yeah, the only tech I pretty much use is the you know, the kinetic and the uh, energy dispersers. Yeah, yeah, those those are not gonna work as far as you can tell but yeah anybody that's using like uh energy pistols any kind of plasma weapon anything like that none of that shit's yeah. gonna work you're multi yeah mary's mary's got an energy pistol but she, har she i don't think she's ever used it she's got her staff and she's got her sling and I guess Rumby is going to... I Well, that's the thing. I don't know if Rumby carries his... 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 His old, old stuff... His old stuff anymore or not. I guess we got to ask Jay next week. Yeah, um... True. True, true, true. And I thought Rumby did have armor tech. Powered, no. powered armor. No, no, no. Doesn't Rumby he? doesn't have power armor. I don't think so. That doesn't make sense. I don't think anybody. I think the only person that was interested, that was really interested and could afford power armor, was Ren, and it was it, it was too much for the basic. Like he he was gonna wait on it. Um, well, no, he just Argyle Argyle has that basic powered armor that Gigi gave him. That's not powered though. Hmm. Yeah, that's just it's it's. It's modern armor, but it doesn't have mm. tech in it, meaning that it like requires ah. power. No, I see. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, because Rumby's got spark dissipators. He's rocking light mail. His rotary tool is most certainly not going to work down there. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking at this stuff. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if he would have had his uh he would have had his his uh things he might need to uh come up. Is the other than Rumby, is there anybody else that needs and uh Ren wants to get some more tanglers? Is there anybody else that needs to uh 
to uh to, to purchase anything uh non powered that they might need to take to the planet. Uh, not anything I can think of at the moment. Let's see here. Okay. How many tanglers was uh, was Ren gonna try and uh, buy? As many as possible. Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, go ahead. Do -do -do. Um, make a, uh, make an intelligence check for Ren. Okay. Okay. And, uh, all right. It was, uh, it was a little bit difficult for you to, uh, for, for you to find some place where you could acquire tanglers in this city. Um, but you were able to, uh, you were able to get down and dirty and, uh, get, get a little bit of underworld, like black market connection. Um, go ahead and roll your, uh, uh, shit, what's the skill? Dealing, um, a negotiation. Don't you have, like, a negotiation? You were able to acquire seven additional Tangler grenades, um, and uh, you got them at a price of two grand. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Is... Uh, is that everybody? Everybody's got their stuff? I think so. So. I'm going to do that. Here. Um, so you. Uh, you contact the company. That. Uh. that uh, can get you down to dart the company is called televacation and uh you you have to uh you actually have to like go to one of the different cities to like meet up with the ship derek flies you over to one of the other sh cities you're able to meet up with the uh, the teleportation ship. It's uh it's a pretty nice ship. It's it's got a lot of amenities. They have drinks. It's very cool and nice. And uh, the trip to the inner part of the solar system doesn't take very long at all. Only a few minutes. You can uh, you can see the planet Dart. It. Uh, it looks pretty normal. It looks like just kind of a, kind of it looks like a, a purplish marble. It's uh, but it looks like other planets that you've seen, not like your own, of course. And once everybody is ready, they get you on these teleporter pads, and they teleport you. 
down to the surface. There's a... We see those little worms that Barkley saw? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Exactly. Just, just okay. like that. And uh, you find yourself... Just outside. Oh, look, we're in stagecoach. We're in stagecoach, boys. It's time. Find yourself. Guns gunslingers and whatnot. Just outside of a, this little town here. And uh, you realize that uh, we're not in space anymore, boys. <laughs> I like it. Next time on Up, Up, and Away, Volume 3, The Planet of Dart, The Planet of Exile. Is Ganger 3 really here on the planet? Will you be able to contact the elves and Will they even help you with your ritual? Can you get off the surface? Maybe we'll answer all these questions and more next time. <gasps> no, no, it won't no, be next time. It won't be next time. It won't be next time. No, it, it, we're no, wandering it be, no, around. I'm saying, now. I'm, no, I'm saying it won't be next time. I'm saying in about six months. It's next season. <laughs> Next season. <laughs> ah, I mean, other than this, this, uh, this session, which was a lot of like eh, planning and decisions and stuff. No, trust me. Now that you're down on the planet, uh, shit's gonna get fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of new information that came about this session about the planet. A lot of new information, and uh, and the other thing about the planet is that uh, when you look at this town, let's see who's with you. That's Mary, Gothics, and well, Solus, Mary, Solus, Mary, Solus, and Rumby are gonna definitely get some like a little bit of Desert like vibes. home vibes. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're. They're definitely kind of feeling a little bit like, oh, this is this is a little nostalgic here. What's going on? Mike too. But, oh, Mike. Uh, yeah, Mike too. Yeah, yeah, Mike too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, look at this place. So definitely, uh, definitely some interesting things for next time. In in Mike's brain, it's like every single one of these buildings will burn. All of them, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you look down the main street of the town, the only street of this little town, and uh, there's nobody outside. It's kind of like it's 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 kind of it's hot, but it's also kind of humid, which is oh. weird. What time of day on Dart is it? So it's noon. Oh God, we're 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 on Main Street and I had high noon. Yeah, you're on Main <laughs> Street. You were just oh, outside no. on Main Street. It's noon, and you're supposed to be in this exact same spot at noon in exactly seven days. Seven days. Okay. So. Yeah, so I'm I, excited. Okay, one real, real quick before we do. I did research. Mary actually does have a multi. She brought it with her to test. Okay. So, so she tries it. Yeah, she's she's. It's like, it it kind of like comes on for a second, and it's like. Beow, beow, beow. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the other thing about Mary. Uh, go ahead and make a saving throw versus Death Ray. God.
Oh yeah, she so, absolutely like, made it. You're like you're like down there, and like she's like she like takes the malty out of her pocket, and she's like messing with that, but like at the same time, like her head's like feeling weird too. And it's like it's like her thing is not really working, and okay. so it's like she's she's she like feels the disconnect of it. Okay. It's does it still does it physically does it physically disconnect or does it just stay there? No, it's still connected to like to her skin. It's like still in her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but uh but yeah it no it no longer seems to be working fortunately okay. she she hasn't had any she got like a little bit dizzy and it was a little bit weird but she adjusted quick it wasn't wasn't that okay. big of a deal so yes next time on the planet da dart what's going to happen come and see us the next, next episode going to be called Dicks in the Dart. Dicks <laughs> in the Dart. I like yes. Dart in the Dark. Yes, for sure. Going to be some good adventures here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Nectosia excited about shows this up out one. Of nowhere. Nectosia, hell yeah. <laughs> the the elf version of Nectosia. <laughs> shows up. Oh my god. Epic is going to fall in love. Yes. So, yeah, I'm I'm excited to uh, to have you down Gothic. on this planet. Uh, what if what if Gothic gets down there, meets with these elves, and decides? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna going live here. You guys. Hey, I'm not fuck, going back yeah. with you guys. These people. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this we find is a... another elf that looks a lot like Gothic, but he's not. Gothic, <laughs> and comes back uh, with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Gothic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, good stuff. Oh All man, right, guys. I'm going to eat uh, eat dinner now, so I'm very hungry. Uh, yeah, but I will catch you all too. next week. Cool. Peace out. Peace out. Later. Yeah. Anybody who's still watching, thanks for watching. We've been the dicks in the dark and uh, subscribe, hey. like, all that oh. jazz. Hey, well, Vitor, Vitor, if I'm oh, saying hey. that right, keep up the good work and damn, this is dope. Thanks, oh, Vitor, thank Vitor. I don't yeah, know if you're still awesome. here, but uh, yeah. join us next week. Uh, next Tuesday, we should be, uh, we're going to try earlier, so I think we should be here at uh, 7. So, uh, yeah, please subscribe, hit like, and ring the bell and all that stuff. And uh, that way you'll not miss a stream. And, um, yeah, yeah we're, we're taking off. Thank you again. Uh, where's that game end screen? It always, there it is. Good night. Go